What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the Emperor Penguin from Generation 4. We got ourselves an Empoleon team for Regulation Age. Now, Empoleon, one of my favorite starters of all time. It looks so dope, and I'm a big fan of Penguin, so cannot beat that. Definitely cannot beat that. But Empoleon has access to a really strong ability in competitive. Due to the fact Intimidate is one of the best abilities in the game and is used so much, competitive is actually top tier. Whenever a stat is lowered, Empoleon's competitive ability will trigger and special attack will go up plus two. So if we're going up against, say, like Incineroar, they want to intimidate us, Empoleon just turns into a special attacking machine. Empoleon's holding the leftovers with the Fairy Terror type, Rock and Water Pledge, Flash Cannon, Haze, which is actually an elite move in this format. And last but not least, it has Protect. The team also features a Snow Squad here with Alola Ninetales and Vax Caliber. Alola Ninetales is going to do nice damage with Freeze Shrine Moon Blast and be able to set up the Roar Bell. On top of that, Vax Caliber is just a big time physical attacker. High physical attacking stat, and then it has Icicle Crash, Leave Rush, High Horsepower, and Protect. Our final three Pokemon on today's team feature Rillaboom, Palmot, and Volcarona. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things, Palmot being able to fake out and revive Pokemon with Revival Blessing, and Volcarona is just a solid Pokemon all around with Flame Body, Heat Wave, Quiver Dance, Protect, and Giga Drain. You gotta love Volcarona. Guys, you wanna rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Empoleon. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Grovile team. Now, I actually seen Grovile on the competitive rank ladder before, holding the Evo Light, and honestly, I kind of forget what moves this rock. Maybe uh, Endeavor. It might be Endeavor Grovile. So that's something we're gonna have to watch out for. But on top of that, they got Eridos with Porygon 2. They're rocking out with uh, who's that? Grand Ninja, then Cleavor and Dragpool. And honestly. You're not supposed to have two of the same items on the team, but this is casual ladder, so Grovile and P2 could be both rocking the Evil Light, or Grovile could just have the Focus Sash and P2 could have the Evil Light. We're gonna have to watch out for that. But one thing I noticed is they don't have Weather Control. I can go into Nine Tails and set up this, uh, this, what's it called? This Aurora Veil, and I think that's a good spot for us to go into. I think I'm gonna do that, and I might just not even touch the Grovile for a little bit, unless I'm gonna double down into it. Yeah, I'm cool with going back to Calibre and Ninetales here, bring Empoleon in the back end, and last but not least, Rillaboom? Or do I go Palmot? What do I want here? I got Focus Hash on the Palmot. You can do some big time damage. I'm gonna go Palmot here. Plus, I can revive Pokemon if I, if I have to. We'll rock out with Palmot. So, if they do end up leading Grovile, we're just not gonna touch it for a little bit, right? It really only thrives off of Endeavor, so we don't wanna bring his HP low. It probably has Focus Hash. We'll just deal with it then, right? We'll, we'll only deal with it whenever we want to double down into it. But for the time being, if they want to lead it, I'll just set up a war veil and attack the other slot. Let's see what they end up leading here. Eridos is kind of scaring me, though. They're going to go Cleavor and Dragapult. Cleavor and Dragapult come out here, and this is actually really good for me. Actually, a solid lead for me. I still want to set up a war veil, even though I could just drop, like, ice moves. But yeah, war veil going to be our best friend. And on top of that, we're going to go Icicle Crash into the Dragapult slot. Might even Phantom Force away. We maybe should have attacked the Cleaver slot. We just might have maybe should have attacked the Cleaver slot. No, he's going for Dragon Darts. And it actually doubles down into Max Calibre. I totally forgot how Dragon Darts works. Luckily, my Max Calibre able to survive. War Bell comes out of here. Show me your outspeed, Max Calibre. I need at least one solid turn out of you. You do. Awesome. And you land the Icicle Crash, which is huge. I'm gonna say bye bye to Pult. Get it on out my face. That's a strong start for us. So we got off a of War Belt. We got rid of the Dragon Pult. Luckily, my back's caliper was bulky enough to actually soak that up. And Stone Axe gonna fly. And with that War Belt, Nine Tails survives. So they got the spikes out. We got some speed cooking, right? We're faster than this Cleaver. Hopefully, they bring out a Pokemon slower than both the Pokemon on our field. Because honestly, I wouldn't mind howling and just attacking. But the Spider's gonna come out here. And to be honest, the Spider's kind of fast. The spider is decently fast. The spider is de decently fast. Um, I think we just attack here. We just go freeze try and we just go for a glaive rush. I'm gonna send it into the spider. Freeze tries out speed. And I wonder if Vax Calibre outspeeds this uh, arrows. And it does. So glaive rush is gonna be able to fly. I probably should have just howled and get that attack boost. But Cleaver is gonna end up setting up a tailwind. Now things are getting a little scary because they got spikes on the field. They got tailwind speed control. This thing's gonna go for a fell stinger just to KO my. My back scalper. Okay. 
Not bad. Not bad. So the veil's out here. This thing's attack stat's going to raise up here. Um, I think I'm going to pop out here and go for the fake out KO. I think that, ha that has got to be my play. Wow, he takes out my nine tails. Actually, he's going to attack my nine tails. We don't, oh, we don't have protect. We have water terror that could help us out. I'm going to try to double down this thing. But yeah, we definitely want to go for fake out here. Try to get rid of this spider. I think fake out should do enough damage. The spider's not that bulky. We're going to hope no protect. And there is no protect. And Paul Mop pick it up the fake out KO. Big time. That's big time. So he's going to stone axe most likely, right? Yeah. Okay, that's why I kind of wish we had protect. And next turn, I can go for a revival bus again. Could be nice for us. Could be nice. But Empoleon looking to clutch things up here. Um, we still have Terra, which I got to remember. And we'll get to see who their final Pokemon is. You got. It's going to be... Da -da -da -da, who is it? Robile. Okay. That's scary. That is scary. That is definitely scary. So we got Water Pledge. We got Flash Cannon. Both going to be super effective. Uh, do we Terrestrialize? I don't think we do. We just stay our typing. Flash Cannon should be able to pick up a KO here. And then we could just go for that Revival Blessing. There goes Grass Pledge. Doing about negative 5 damage. Stone Axe going to attack the Palmont, and Palmont soaking all day. This is a really good turn for us. Revival Blessing going to come out here. No better feeling than reviving a Pokemon in your party. We're going to get back to Calibre out here. It's going to be massive, and we're not going to touch this Grovile just yet until we get rid of this Cleaver. So Flash Cannon flying, and Palmont does a sick pose, and it just dumps on Cleaver. Get it on out my face. Now it turns into a 3v1 situation. We're ready to rock. We are ready to rock. And I got leftovers giving me back some HP. So we don't even need to really use Terra. We're not just going to go into a Flash Cannon. And I'm going to go into a close combat. Let's just KO the Grovile. And he goes for the Grass Pledge, which I soak all day. Actually, he does decent damage for Grovile. But this thing is definitely Endeavor. Yeah, there's the Focus Ash. There's the Focus Ash. So Grovile, very niche Pokemon. One to use Endeavor using its Focus Ash here. But that's going to be game, set, match. That is going to be game, set, match. Empoleon going to drop a Flash Cannon. We're going to say GG's. 1-0 to get this video started with Empoleon. Moving on to our second match. And this match seems like it's going to be a bit tougher. They got a lot of meta Pokemon, especially Rotom Wash, who I think is going to be an elite Pokemon, joining its way back onto the meta once Regulation H has been released. They got Incineroar. They got Rillaboom. They got Komo'o. They got Clefable for support and special attacking. And last but not least, they got Goldigo. Do I want to try to set up a War Bell? I could. I mean, they have no weather... We could just go into Nine Tails. They could fake it out though, which kind of sucks. Um, but I kind of want to lead Empoleon, just in case they want to go into Intimidate. I think that we can really thrive off of that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I could maybe just go into Volcarona here. Maybe try to go for a Quiver Dance, depending on who they go into. Volcarona could be pretty good. Or I could go into a Fake Out user. I think a Roar Bell is just so good for us. We might just want to do that. So I'm gonna go Nine Tails. I'm gonna go Empoleon. Um, in the back end, who could be good for us? Volcarona. I do like Volcarona here. Super effective onto a few guys. And last but not least, do we go Bax? Or, yeah, we gotta go Bax. We gotta go Bax. Bax can kind of deal with a lot of different Pokemon. He's got the Ice moves. Um, on top of that, he's got Dragon move with Glaive Rush. And he has High Horsepower to kind of deal with Incineroar. So, I'm with this. I'm with this all day. I think a Roar Bell really just glues this team together. So, setting it up is just a big part of it. So... When we're going up against a meta squad like this, I think we need a War Bell. Especially since they have no weather. We get off a War Bell, that's just a huge advantage in our favor. As you guys seen in the last match, like we were able to soak up shots that we shouldn't have soaked up. Like the Stone Axe. Stone Axe would have killed us if we didn't set up a War Bell. But we were able to set it up and get after it. But he's going to go Como. Oh, probably go follow me, Clangorous Souls here. This is where we set this up. And we just start attacking Clefable, especially with like Flash Cannon. I mean, that's really all we can do. So Clangorous Soul definitely going to fly here. We'll set up the War Bell. Um, yeah, I'm cool with this. And I have Haze, too. I do have Haze, which is really good for us, which he doesn't know. So I'll set up a War Bell. We'll go into a Flash Cannon into the Clefable slot. It gotta be boost in here. And I'll try to Haze the next turn. Which, that could be really good for us. I might have to Terrastalize Empoleon, because I really do not want to take a fighting shot right to the mid, right? Yep, there's Follow Me. We, we already knew what was happening. We already knew what was happening. War Bell gets set up. He's going to go for Clangorous Soul. He's going to lose a little bit of HP. Flash Cannon should be able to chunk up damage. Yep, there's Clangorous Soul. 
And I'm gonna Terrasize Empoia on next turn just to drop a Haze. I think it's really just in our best interest to not let the sync set up. And this is why Haze is so good in this format. Pokemon really like to set up. Like the power level's lower than Regulation G. So a lot of Pokemon need to set up in order to be as strong as like the other Pokemon in other formats. You're gonna be seeing a lot of setup Pokemon. You're gonna be seeing a lot of Haze through the meta. But Flash Cannon, beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. I'm upset at that berry, but still beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. So from here, again, chances are you have a fighting move. You are dragon and fighting. So we are going to rip into a fairy terror type, which is actually perfect here. We're gonna drop a haze, and on top of that, we just go moonblast here. And try to rip up into you. What does more damage? I think moonblast does, right? Yeah. Moonblast by four. So I'll drop a moonblast. Try to KO the Como. Oh, Como -O might go steal Terra. And he might just go for a follow me here. Let's see. Let's see. Either way, I should be able to get off this haze. This terror type's just too perfect. It's just too perfect for us. So he loses some HP to do Clang Your Soul. I think it's like one third. And I think that's a good trade. Haze for one third HP. Ends up withdrawing Clefable. Clefable gets to withdraw, and he's going to go into Rollaboom. The good thing here is if uh, Komo -O protects, Haze still works. Which is massive. So Grassy Surge comes out here. We're already Terrastalizing. We have great Pokemon here. And he's Terrastalizing as well. So it looks like a Steel type, if I had to guess. I probably should have read that, maybe just went into a freeze dry, but now it's gonna be fire type. Okay, so everything works out better for us. A nice, lovely fire type Como. Stats are boosted. We got a Roarville out. And I'm Thrasalizing my boy Empoleon because if you wanna go for a fighting move, I'm not dealing with it. I'm surviving this shot. I need to get off this Haze. Haze is an absolute must. This next turn, he does have. Fake out ready to go, but I don't think he would go for another Kanger Soul. I just think that'd be stupid. He's gonna end up going for Flamethrower. We might be able to soak this through a War Bell. Maybe, probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Although a Night Tails drops out, but hey, it's his job. We got off a War Bell for eight turns with a Light Clay. Cannot ask for much more. Haze comes out here. Later, stat boost. Get it on out of here. So, no more stat boost for them. Um, hmm. I think going into like Volcarona could be good for us. I wonder who he's gonna fake out. That's the real question, though. Them's B's the real question. He's gotta fake out Empoleon, right? I could just double protect this turn. But the problem would be, like, him setting up Clanger Soul. I think he's gotta fake out the, the Empoleon, right? Seeing as it's a water type. I'm just gonna do this and rip a Quiver Dance. You're not gonna go for Flame Body Fake Out here. I'm gonna rip a Quiver Dance. And just protect Empoleon. You gotta be faking that Empoleon. It's a must. It's a must here. It's a must. And with our typing, I believe we should be able to set up a uh, a pretty easy Quiver Dance. Show me fake out into the Penguin. Show me fake out into the Penguin. Neither. No fake out. No fake out into the Penguin. No fake out in anybody. Can someone attack the Penguin? That's really what I'm hoping. Goes for another Clanger Soul. Wow. Another Clanger Soul comes out here. Empoleon, or Robin sure seems like it's attacking Empoleon here. So they both go for stat boost, which is good news. Robin, what are you doing here? Woodhammer into Empoleon. We love that. Okay. So you protect that shot. They're probably doubling down into. They gotta be doubling down into Empoleon at this point. I still gotta go for the Haze. Or I could just go for the Water Pledge, because, I mean, if we can attack, we can KO. Because Haze would also take away our stat changes, so I'm going to do that. I am going to go for a Heat Wave here. And who's dodging it? Okay, Komo dodged it. So we're going to KO the Roboom. Oh, we don't KO the Roboom. That really hurts, and Clanging Scale is going to fly here. It's not going to affect my Empoleon, and actually, we survive <laughs> rather easily. Thanks to our special attack boost. Woodhammer, we should soak. Yep, Aurora Veil. Amazing, and you're gonna die out the recoil. Yeah, so you, you guys can see easily how a war veil really just takes over the match. A lot of those moves should do way more damage than they should have, and we're just taking over the match with it. The water punch flies, we're gonna have KO Komo, -O, and now we're sitting in a perfect position to win this match. Awesome. So Haze coming in clutch, water punch coming up clutch, quiver dance even coming up clutch, heat wave, and a war veil. Like those moves were just perfect for this matchup. And now we got Volcarona chilling here with plus one special attack, plus one special defense, plus one speed. 
And we got Empoleon not only in the terrain, but with leftovers, getting back a ton of HP every single turn. You get back so much HP in both of them. You get back like almost 30, 25 to 30 HP every single turn. And then you just protect and you get back even more. But Golden Gun is going to come out here. Final Pokemon. Um, oh, actually, I forgot they have the Fable. But they don't have Terra. They simply do not have Terra. And if I could just land a Heat Wave, we win this game all day. But I'm just going to protect you. Go for the Heat Wave. And they cancel the match. So 2 0. -oh. We're starting off with a winning record. I have been absolutely dominating on the casual ladder with regulation H teams. I feel like we've been getting back to back to back, like like a ton of 3-0 perfect records. And we're looking to do it right here. And I'm pretty confident we can do it. We're going up against High Drippy Drapple, Golden Go, Dragonite, Wimscott, who is elite in regulation H, top tier, Tailwind Center. And then they got Contrary Malmore with Palafin. So they could lead Palafin. Um, they could lead Wimscott. I mean, Aurora Veil is our best friend. They have no weather control, so we're doing it. I mean, they could have Sunny Day with Wimscott, which could get a tad bit scary. Um, but in our case, we're just going to go back to Calibur. We're going to go Ninetales. We're going to go Empoleon. And last but not least, if they want to set the sun, well, Corona can do some big damage. So we're going in with the same squad as we had last game, right? Yeah, this is the same squad that we had last game. And I really like it. Like, I think they're going to lead Wimscott. I really do. And they're going to have to make a decision whether they have to want to Tailwind or just pop Sunny Day. They could do both if they have Focus Ash, but I'm going to pop in Aurora Veil and just go for a... Uh, an Icicle Crash. So they can either waste Terror, use Focus Ash, do all that good stuff. And they're just going to go into Golden Go. I mean, that's kind of scary. Golden Go is definitely scary. He's going to wipe out my Ninetales. Unless I go into Water Terror type. But then I'll have to Thrash Slice you. We're going to Thrash Slice Max Caliber here. I'm still going to go for Aurora Veil. If you die, Ninetales, you die. Like, I, I, I'm not too worried about you, but I'm going to do that. And honestly, I'm just going to go into a high horsepower and a gold to go. Do I do that? Or do I go Icy Crash into Whimsy? Definitely went through Astralize. I'm going to high horsepower here. Ready right to gold to go. Go for Tailwind. Actually, what am I doing? I just realized we can't get off of War Bell regardless. If they set up Tailwind, we... Just die out to make it rain. And if they go for sunny day, we just can't set it up. So this was actually a terrible play for us. This is really bad. They go tailwind. I say bye bye to our uh, nine tails. I should have just terrestrialized nine tails. Yeah, I should have terrestrialized nine tails and just set up a rebel and protect our backscalper. That that should have been the play. That should have been the play, but that was stupid for me. That was that was very very dumb of me. I didn't think that turned fully out. Definitely didn't, but high horsepower. Damage is up. We like that damage. I could just go into Volcarona here, which we definitely want to do. And I think now's a good turn for us to set up Volcarona with a Quiver Dance. If I'm going to Quiver Dance up. I am just going to go into actually an Ice Crash here. Yep, protect Volcarona. That can protect you next turn. You do. You know, we're just going to. Yeah, you know, we're just going to go Ice Crash here. You might even protect or swap Golden Go. Do I just take out Golden Go here? Yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for taking out Golden Go. We're going to go Ice Crash. I know the accuracy's low, but there's a chance they swap. There is a chance they swap. So I'm going to attack him. Whimscott protects. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This is a nice Quiver Dance turn. It's a real good Quiver Dance turn. Real good Quiver Dance turn. As good as a Quiver Dance turn can get. Now I'm quiver danced up. Now I'm quiver danced up. That's scary for them. That's real scary for them. Special defense. Boost it. Boost it, boost it, boost it. Alright. So now I got some speed cooking. Uh, Heat Wave's going to be our best friend. And I'm just going to protect this turn. Really don't want to take too much damage on Bax Caliber. I think Heat Wave's just going to do ridiculous amounts of damage. Wimscott's going to die out here. Golden Go's going to die out here. Unless Focus Sash is upon us. So, it's not bad for us. It's not bad. There's that. He's going to... He's going to Encore me. My heart, my soul fell out of my body but still if I get rid of this Wimscott my Volcarona is going to be as boosted as a Volcarona can get 
So we gotta go for Quiver Dance again. And we gotta go for Iso Crash here. They're gonna protect Blooms Cod. I should have read it. I should have read it. Oh my god. This is what I gotta deal with. 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 Oh my lord. Getting out of hand. Tailwind's gone. Gotta go for another Quiver Dance. I wish we keep gonna keep setting them up. With Quiver Dance, we will swap out you though for Empoleon. And try to go for flash cannons. We gotta get rid of this. Uh, we gotta get rid of this Wimscott. We can win this match if we just get rid of Wimscott. Volcarona is going to carry us to victory. There goes Tailwind. That's fine. He's gonna encore my Volcarona next turn. And I think I just protect it. Nice spot out, Lord. Oh Lord, chill on me. Chill on me. Snow has stopped. Encore should stop as well. Cool. He's, he's going to Encore me again. This is where I protect you. And I just rip a flash in. Hopefully you're not Focus Ash. Chances are you're Focus Ash. So he's plus one on special attack now. Once Cop protects, I could have attacked and got out of the Encore right there. I could have just gotten out of the Encore there. I could have just gotten out of the Encore. Everybody's protecting. I could have just gotten out of the Encore. But he sees what I'm doing now. Could have just gotten out of that Encore. And we're still going to try to get out of the Encore here. I'm going to go for Heat Weave. I'm going to go for Flash Cannon. I could have just gotten out of the Encore, man. There it is. So we're back into Encore. I mean, Goldigo really shouldn't do that much damage to us unless he keeps going for Nasty Pots. I'm able to land another Protect, which is huge. And he's going to go for Shadow Bolt into Empoleon. Give me that drop. Does some damage. Doesn't get the drop. Show me no Sash. Show me no Sash. Let's go. Okay, so no Sash. My Volcarona's boosting up here. My Volcarona boosting up. My Volcarona boosting up. We're, so we're already boosted up. We're, we're into Protect now. We're encore and protect. I should be. Am I plus three on everything or am I plus four? Plus four would be amazing. But Palfin's gonna come out here. Palfin's going to do waste of turn swapping, I would guess. I don't have Terra. Really rough for us. I'm, yo, I'm plus four, but defense boost really just doing me dirty. I can't swap it. We, we, we need this thing to win the game. And I'm just gonna protect you. I'm gonna get back some HP to hopefully maybe soak up a Shadow Ball. So he's definitely going after Empoleon. He's going to swap into Dragonite. Dragonite. We have one more turn left in Encore. And this Protect... We, we, we'll be able to Protect next turn, which is huge. So we protect Empoleon on this turn. He goes for Shadow Ball in that slot. We're going to Protect Volcarona on this turn. We're going to lose our Empoleon. And... Have high hopes for Volcarona to win this match for us. I mean, Palafin's in the back end, which is a tad bit scary. We don't have Terra. But Speed's on our side. Their tailwind's gone now. And I should have one turn left in Aqua, correct? Yes. All right. Protect you. You're guaranteed to land that this turn. And if we can, I would love to get rid of Gold to go. I would love to get rid of Gold to go. thing is, I can one-tap this pal for no problem with Giga Drill. But they haven't used Terra yet either. So I'm kind of... At the guessing game of Terra's, I think Palafin would be rock and water, but here is their Terra. Probably E speed, right? Gotta be normal Terra E speed, correct? Normal Terra, good thing I'm protecting here. So we should be able to soak up one E speed. The problem here is one E speed and one jet punch. Not not looking so hot for us. So protect flies from us. Protect from gold to go. Man, that hurts. And he's probably just gonna east speed into us, correct? Now you go for stop potential. Can you soak this? Don't. You don't. Alright, my encore's gone though. 
and Heat Wave, it could pick up a double kill. It could easily pick up a double kill. So I'm going to send a Heat Wave. And I'm going to double down right in this slot with Glaive Rush. Glaive Rush. Glaive Rush. Glaive Rush. Whatever you want to call it. So Encores are finally done, and we're looking for this victory. Come on, Volcarona. Volcarona's outspeeding, besides, obviously, e speed. He ends up withdrawing Golden Go. To be honest, yo, this Heat Wave. This Heat Wave can do damage. I am terrified of Jet Punch here from Palafin. How much damage are we doing with Heat Wave? That, that, that's the real question. Heat Wave's flying. No E-Speed. Can we take out Dragonite? We take out Dragonite. Palafin's now dead. Glaive Rush is sliding over. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. All my members, if you guys are a member, make sure you give me a LeBron James emote in the comment section down below. Let me get it. That's too easy. If you guys want to become a member, there is a link down in the description below. Or just hit the join button. Either or. Join the Jeans channel. Become a member. Really appreciate all my members. Thank you guys so much for becoming a member. But uh, yeah, double KO right there. That's too easy. That's too easy. We got some cool emotes with the members. Like I said, we got a LeBron James emote. You guys can check it out. You guys can check it out. But Golden Go comes out here. Final Pokemon. We're going to drop another Heat Wave. Actually, not going to play RNG with lower accuracy moves. We are just going to go for a high horsepower here and go for Giga Drain and uh, say GG. So 3 0 perfect record. Like I said before that third and final match start, we have been killing it on the Regulation H Casual Ladder. We've just been tearing it up 3 0 perfect records left and right. And in this video, we continue the streak. Empoleon going crazy, Bax Caliber doing work, Volcarona, and even Alone Ninetales. So everybody on the squad pretty much shine. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.